Hi, it's Melinda. How are you today? I hope you're doing wonderful. And I'm coming on live today and I'm going to share this on all of my pages and um, a couple groups too. So if you've already seen this, sorry about that, you're going to hear it repeated times. I have a lot of friends that maybe don't know me. I've just friended them. And so what I'm coming on today is just to give you a little bit of information about me, okay? Besides the fact that I love glitter, shiny things, I'm a chicken mama, a duck mama, and uh, I have one goat. He's a three-legged goat, but I do have him. And thanks for watching. Hi, Miss Gina. Hi, Lisa. So what I'm coming on is I play tag with God. Okay, first of all, if you asked me to do this many years ago or even maybe last year, I probably would have laughed at you because I wasn't one to come on out and show myself on video. Okay, I had took little baby steps. I've done it a little bit, kind of toyed with it, mainly behind the screen. I didn't come up and forward and <laughs> I, I really didn't have a lot of... Um, let's say self-esteem. So if you saw me walking down the street, I'd be walking and walking and my head would be down if I passed you or if you were coming towards me because I wasn't one to go ahead and hold my head up. I didn't have a very big self-esteem about myself. It was like this. And I didn't really like other people watching me. When I went out to a restaurant, I felt like all eyes on me when I walked into a building. And I know this is probably news for some people, but I had to overcome this. And that would say... That would be about over 10 years ago, okay? Uh, for you, those of you that don't know, I am a uh, domestic violence survivor and also a childhood abuse survivor. So I've overcame a lot. I'll be celebrating 11 years on the 25th of February that I've been out. I've been free, yes. And so what I do now is I help empower men and women that are still in the victim mode or maybe... Um, they're survivors and they're just kind of struggling in the dark. They're not sure what to do, whether it be in business or whether it be privately, because your self-esteem is just not down. It really, you might not have any. You could be angry at the world. You can be angry at everybody. Hey, Christine, thanks for watching. You have this this may be a chip on your shoulder. It could be the other way where you just kind of get reclusive and you are still struggling with that victim mode where do I go? You're stumbling in the dark. So that's where I come in. I share videos. I do that on Hope When There Was None. I have guest experts or just guests that were previously victimized and they're sharing not only uh, their stories about abuse, but maybe they've had some sort of emotional trauma in their lives. It could be they miscarried, had a divorce, a chronic illness. So I'm sharing the whole gamut and that's kind of a dirty side. But when I started this, if you saw the title, Playing Tag with God, I feel like that's what I was doing with the Lord, okay? So God tagged me into this game where I was supposed to share my story. Hey, Jewel. And I was telling God, uh-uh, I can't do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who wants to hear my dirty laundry and the dark stuff and the stuff I don't want to... That pushing down. Have y'all been there where you just pushed all that dirty stuff down and you had that shame, you had maybe even a little guilt and you didn't want anyone to know? That's what I was doing. So when God tagged me into this game, I said, uh-uh, tag, mm -mm. sorry, I'm sorry, time out, Lord. Mm -mm, I can't do this. Time out. I would tell him no. I'd go sit on the sidelines and kind of just watch the game as it's being played. And the Lord would kept tagging me in and I'd say, oh no, oh, time out, time out. I'm a time out. I can't do this. Well, thank you. Yes, yes. You, I know you, and I've seen you share your story too, so I know you know what I'm talking about. Hi, Stan. So I would just go ahead and say, okay, Lord, I can't do this. I can't do this. It makes me uncomfortable. I, I don't know what. But he would start, hey, Miss Teresa, he would start throwing in other players, okay? So I'm watching this game from the sidelines, but the Lord's pulling me in. So what he's doing is he's throwing in other victims, other survivors, other emotional trauma, folks that have had some sort of devastating illness, maybe deaths in their family, and he would tag them in. <laughs> he's like, no, Melinda, you're playing this game. You need to share your story. I'm also a Lyme chronic illness survivor, Lyme warrior. So he'd be like, no, you need to share. You need to get it all out. I want you to share everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. You need to share all of this. And you're not doing it for you. Girl, you got to remember, this is for my glory. You are sharing for me. You're not sharing for you. You're not getting, don't worry about the embarrassment. Don't worry about the guilt, the shame. Everything is for me and my glory. I need 
your story to shine out there for others to know that even though it's dark and it's sad in some parts, that you overcame this, that you are doing what I'm asking you to do. Please do it for my glory. And that's why I'm out here now. I finally gave in. It's like, okay, he's tagging me in. I'm going for it. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. And God, I got to tell you, I wasn't really happy with you, but I did it. And now I'm in a place, honestly, I'm in a place where I feel confident enough to show not only God's glory, but also that there is redemption. There is freedom in sharing your story. Now, you don't have to do it big by going online right now live. It could be at small steps. Maybe you suffered a devastating loss, pregnancy loss, miscarriage, or perhaps you've had trouble getting pregnant, you've had a divorce, whatever that is, somebody outside needs to know your story. And again, you don't have to do it like this. To me, this is big. You don't have to do it live. It could just be sharing with somebody that you meet in the store. I am famous for meeting people when we go out to the store. When we go out somewhere public, the family already knows that if I am out, more than likely, I will attract some spirit, some God has sent some divine appointment to me that I need to reach out and talk to a person. So it, it always happens. It's inevitable. And that's okay. I am good with that. I, I always thought that was kind of weird at first, but now I know that's the Lord. He's sending me people. And um, whether it be I need to hear something, because sometimes that happens. It's not just all about me. It's sometimes God sends us so we hear other stories. So it's not always about us. Sometimes we need these golden nuggets of truth, even though it might be a little bitter. Uh, we might need something ourselves, and he sends people to us. So whether you, and thank you guys all, Miss Tina, Miss Dawn, and whoever else I missed there. I think there was Morgan on here. Thank you, Alfred, for watching. So just remember, so if God's calling you to tag you into this game of life here, and you're telling him time, sorry, Lord, time, think about it. Try it once have that faith in order to step out and trust that the Lord has really got a plan for you. He does. He's got a plan for all of us. He's got a plan for you. Now, whether it's in business or whether it's personal, he's got this plan for you. Now, if you are struggling right now, you're like, Melinda, I don't believe in the Lord. You know, what's the Lord ever done for me? Let's talk. Send me a message privately. I'd be happy to help you. Now, I'd also love to learn, have you ever had this time in your life when you, hi, Miss Amelia, when you ever felt that it does happen to you too? See, I'm not alone. Hey, Miss Jill. See, and, and I'd love to hear those moments where you've had those divine appointments. Maybe someone has told you something you needed to hear or perhaps you've been that person that needed somebody needed I'd love to hear that or have you been one of those people like me in the past that told God time out I can't do this did you ever sit on the sidelines of the game of tag that God's calling you in I'd love to know let me know in the messages below and if you're catching this as a replay do a hashtag replay and let me see a little flame out there also so you can do a little maybe hashtag fire. So I know you're getting this. I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that. Mwah. Have a great rest of your day and may it be blessed. Stay safe. Bye.